Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about one of my favorite fairy shrimp species. This is the beaver tail fairy shrimp, scientifically known as Thamnocephalus fadiuri. This fairy shrimp was actually described by Packard in 1877, and of course, belongs to the family Thamnocephalidae. The beaver tail fairy shrimp actually has a very wide distribution, all the way from the United States down into Mexico. This species is pretty common in most of the southern states. That includes Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and California, just to mention a few. As far as its habitat, this can also be very diverse. This includes desert pools, such as those found in the Sonoran Desert, and you can also find them in playas in central to north Texas. Because their distribution is so wide amongst geographical regions, they actually have different preferences of dissolved solids in their habitat. So those found in the deserts, they might have a higher concentration of salts and other minerals, while those found maybe in the plains will have lower concentrations of salts and carbonates. Now, when I raise these guys in captivity, I do use the same substrate mixture, which is a mix of compost, topsoil, calcium carbonate, and in this case, I will be adding calcium sulfate. For this species, the eggs typically hatch within 24 to 72 hours. However, I do see lower hatching rates when the temperatures are not high enough, and as well if the water is not salty enough. This species generally grows very fast. They basically double in size every day until they reach sexual maturity, and this can be around a week to two weeks. They're usually around an inch and a half once they reach sexual maturity. However, their maximum size can be up to two inches. As far as the mating process, it is very quick. Males will actually pursue a female, station himself in such a way that he's parallel with her, use his cephalic appendages, second antenna, to then clasp onto her, and then the mating process begins. This will only last a few seconds, like I said, and the females are actually kind of thrust away from the males to escape um, his advances. After a few days from mating, the female will actually drop the eggs. And these eggs are fairly large uh, compared to other fairy shrimp species. As far as behaviors for the beaver tail fairy shrimp, these guys prefer to swim in the water column. And they're always swimming in a forward motion with their head kind of slightly tilted down. Also, I've noticed that this species is pretty susceptible to string algae or hair algae. If they become entangled into the string algae, especially right after a molt, they're very vulnerable to getting stuck and that may be the end of their life. The best food source for this species, in my experience, tends to be free-floating algae. However, if you use kind of a slushy or slurry of cow manure, that also helps with algae production and also um, just detritus in the water. Now, as far as characteristics for the species, the beaver tail fairy shrimp uh, really sticks out for most because of its size and also its paddle-like tail. Males have a cephalic appendage, which lies right in the middle of their pair of second antennas. On the other hand, the female second antenna are very elongated, extending to almost half the body, and they also curve inward. The only other species that resembles the beaver tail fairy shrimp is Thamnocephalus mexicanus, which is found more in Mexico and then also some parts of southern United States, but there is basically one feature that separates the two species. On the cephalic appendage of the beaver tail fairy shrimp, there is a branch that is more cone-shaped, and then in the Mexican beaver tail fairy shrimp, that branch is more like a leaf. Well, this is all the information that I have on the beaver tail fairy shrimp. And on that note, if you have a question or if you want to see specific content, uh, please leave me a comment below. I really want to know y'all's opinion and also I really appreciate your feedback.
So if you really like this video and you want to see more content, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.